Okay, looking at milestone three, we've already done the statement of cost of goods sold, and now we're going to look at the next, the income statement. So first things first, they provide us on our data appendix, they provide us the number of items actually sold per day and then the prices that you decided. So you decided on a price previously and they told you, they gave you an estimate for how many you would sell. However, these are the actual numbers you sold. As you recall in Milestone 2, not to confuse you, but they gave you estimate made in amounts of sales. So these were your estimated amounts. We don't want to use the estimated amounts. We want to use the actual. So when you look at the data for milestone three, this is the actual number. You also have some other costs that are provided that you're going to use too. So looking at your income statement, based on the actual number of collars that you, that you really sold, times the selling price, and then multiply by 20 days. Why 20 days? Well, there were 20 business days in the first month of operation. So, in this case, if there were 33 collars sold per day times $20 per collar, that's 660 collars for that month. And then you multiply by $20 per collar, and then that would tell you your total sales if you use a different a price, then you're, that's going to change how many collars you sold per day. You're going to do that for each of the collar, leash, and harness products. Then you add up your total revenue. Make sure you show your calculations. Either use a formula here, which is the preferred method, or put it to the side. The total revenue is going to sum up these three. The cost of goods sold, you've already done. That's in the cost of goods sold tab that you've already accomplished. And then when you subtract the cost of goods sold, you get your gross profit. Now your expenses, your salaries, depreciation, rent, scissors, loan, that all comes from the data sheet that you are provided with. Here is the salaries, here are your depreciation, rent, utilities, scissors, and loan repayment. So your total expenses will be provided here. Subtract from your gross profit these other expenses and you'll get your net income or loss. That's all there is to it for the income statement, but it is an important piece of information. If you have a business, you want to know if it's going to be profitable and this is one of the ways that you can gauge your profitability.